Well, the battle over medical supplies is continuing in Rhode Island and in Massachusetts. The governors of both states tell us that help is on the way. And reporter Brandon Truitt is joining us now with the latest from Miriam Hospital in Providence. Getting supplies to the medical professionals has been described as a bidding war between the states. Here in Rhode Island, the governor has announced the creation of her own supply chain, while Massachusetts is set to score big with a touchdown later today. The New England Patriots delivering a touchdown of a different kind. Owner Robert Kraft announcing the organization's plane has left China for Boston. It's precious cargo, more than a million in 95 masks. The state has been crippled by a shortage in personal protective gear. Getting those masks here requires the teamwork you'd expect from the Patriots. Partnering with the state, Kraft says it took an ambassador, two nations, and three governors to make it happen. In a statement, Robert Kraft says he hopes his actions can in some way inspire others to find creative ways to give more in support of our doctors, nurses, and first responders. Another half a million masks arrive next week. A portion of both shipments are going to New York. In the meantime, Rhode Island continues to fight for supplies. Governor Gina Raimondo saying more than 5 million N95 masks are on the way, adding she's had to create a supply chain to get personal protective gear. And all they do all day is purchase for us masks, gloves, gowns, face shields, goggles. President Donald Trump is responding to the governor's critique, saying that he believes many of them are overestimating exactly how many supplies they need. As for that shipment coming in from the Patriots, well, all of those medical supplies will be escorted by the National Guard to the state's strategic stockpile. In Providence, Brandon Truitt, Eyewitness News.